Welcome to setting up continuous integration and continuous deployment for a Unity project with GitHub Actions. That is a mouthful. A quick disclaimer, I just started learning this stuff yesterday, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But it works, so it's a start. For my particular use case, CICD means I don't have to waste valuable time creating builds and distributing them to my team. I can have GitHub Actions do it for me. I got this working in CircleCI first. I'll post the relevant CircleCI YML file in the description. For this tutorial, I whipped up a little boring physics thing that does physics stuff. I've also set up a GitHub repo for it. In order to get CI/CD working, we need an environment that contains the Unity editor. This environment comes in the form of a Docker image. Prior to yesterday, I didn't know what Docker was, so again, I don't know what I'm doing. GitHub user GabliRoo has made some amazing resources for getting CI/CD working for Unity. Here, he's created an example repo for using GitLab CI/CD. His most important contribution is all the Docker images he created that contain the Unity editor. Before we can have a Docker container making builds for us, we need to figure out how to activate Unity within the container. This will be the trickiest part. To begin, we'll run the Docker image locally. For this, we will need Docker Desktop. Docker Desktop will spin up a VM, so you'll need to enable virtualization in your BIOS. Over in the PowerShell, let's run the image. We start with the Docker run command. We give it the IT flag to start it in interactive mode. We then input the image followed by a colon and the tag. In our case, the tag is the version of Unity we want to use. The first time you run this, it'll take a while as Docker pulls the image. My container is already spun up as I've previously pulled it. Let's do a list command and take a look around our Docker environment. The Unity editor is located under opt Unity editor. Let's move to that directory and do another list command. We can see that the Unity executable is here. Now we will run the command to create the activation file. The quit flag tells you need to quit once it's finished executing our commands. Batch mode means it's only going to run in the command line. No graphics ensures no graphics device is initialized. Log file will output the log to the console. And finally, create manual activation file. This will create the file that will allow us to obtain a license. Do a list command and you'll see that there is a new ALF file. To get this file out of the container, we are just going to copy and paste the contents of the file. We'll do a cat command. Highlight the beginning of the XML tag to the end of the root tag. Here in PowerShell on Windows 10, I can press Ctrl+C c to copy. The copy command is going to vary from shell to shell. Create a new file on your local machine with the same name and paste with your favorite text editor. Now that we have our activation file in hand, Let's head over to Unity's activation page to get our license file. Just upload the ALF file we just made, then answer the questions, and you'll get your license on the other end. Awesome, we now have a license. Now we just have to solve how to get the license into the Docker container on GitHub. We could just put it into the repo, but anyone who has access to the repo now has access to our license. What we will do instead is encrypt our license and put that in our repo. We will then provide the key as a secret in our repo settings. To start, let's open up a Unix shell. I'm using an Ubuntu shell. We'll run this encryption command. AES256CBC is the type of encryption we are using. This flag means that we are encrypting. The in-out flags specify what file to encrypt and where to put the result. For the output file, I added a .enc for encrypted. The K flag specifies our key. For this example, I'll use cookies. Your key should be much stronger than this. I use the password generator for my actual key. Let's add the key to our repo secrets. Open up your repo on GitHub. Go to Settings, Secrets, and click Add a new secret. I'll call mine Unity License Decrypt Key. Put your key in the value field. Then click Add Secret. Now we can start adding stuff to our repo. In your project's root, create a .github folder. Place your encrypted license here. Create a new folder next to that named Workflows. Inside that, create a new file named main.yml. This file represents our GitHub Actions workflow. Let's open up the YML file in a text editor. I'm going to paste in my previously created workflow. I'll put a link in the description. Here is a quick overview of that workflow. This is the name of our workflow. This tells GitHub Actions to trigger the workflow on pushes. Next, we create a job named build. Here we will specify what OS the workflow will run on. We then specify the Docker image to use in the container field. Next, we check out our project into the container. Now we decrypt our encrypted license. 
This is where we access our key from the repo's secret. Notice the dollar sign double bracket notation. Inside, we put the secret prefix followed by the name of our secret. Next, we activate Unity with our newly decrypted license. We'll fire off a Windows and OSX build. We use the upload artifact action to store the results. Let's push our changes and see it in action. I'm assuming you already know how to use Git. Head over to your repo on GitHub and click the Actions tab. You should see your workflow. Let's open it up and take a look at the build job. You can see here each step of the job. Initializing the container takes about three minutes here. It only took about one minute on Circle CI. Build time between platforms were comparable. However, this is a small project. You can expand each step to examine the logs. This data is very useful for debugging and figuring out why builds may have failed. Once the job is finished, you'll see artifacts listed in the top right hand corner ready to download. I'll go ahead and give my Windows build a download and test it out. Mission accomplished, everything seems to be working. Next, I'll be looking into unit testing and automatic versioning. I hope this video was helpful. Good luck getting CI CD working.